Hello everyone, I am Argama Witch, and uh, today is part one of a five uh, of my mega tutorial. Um, and in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you this model right here. This model is pending, um, and it's one I made recently. Uh, it has gone through Vroid Studios to Unity to Blender Do uh, Unity again. It's gone through a lot, and there was a lot of like troubleshooting and stuff going on. Look, it, it was it's very involved, and let me tell you why. Because he has blend shapes in his wings, he has layered clothes, he has the ability to switch between two models at once, and ultimately. That is what I'm going to be showing you how to do in this uh, five part series. And I say five, it's more like four part, but one of the parts is going to be kind of like a prep part. It's very important, but honestly, it's just kind of like, it doesn't, it doesn't really fit anywhere. I, I mean, it, it does, but whatever. So the first part's going to be what you do in Vroid. The next part's going to be the first hit into Unity along with how to export. Uh, accessories in um, to go into like blender and whatever then uh, the third part is going to be how to add blend shapes to uh, your accessories the fourth part is going to be how to layer clothes and then the fifth part is going to be how to assemble all this shenanigans together uh, there were a couple mistakes made throughout the process but I'll explain them as I go on <clears throat> Now, without further ado, let's uh, let's jump into this. Um, so I did uh, when I started this, I made sure I had everything planned out as far as like the design, like the character design, the outfits, and all this other shit. Um, and pending is a boy, but is a young boy, so I went with a female body because I wanted to have like uh, the adjustment over the face that you can with the females, where the male bodies you don't really have that. Um, and I had talked to him about it, and he was fine with it. Um, because it's kind of very young. I was inspired by Nagise from Free, uh, as far as, like, how I wanted, like, the shading on this to go and how, like, I wanted, like, his character to look, like, young and stuff, you know? Uh, that being said, like, it's not unheard of to... whatever. <clears throat> uh, so, uh... While doing this, since he has two forms with two different color eyes, I figured the easiest way to do it would be to just make the eye gray, and then I would just do an overlay of the different colors and switch them. As you can see here, I'm seeing what it looked like with red and then blue, because those are going to be the two colors we'll switch between. Um, and ultimately, like, it's also why I did some of the hair the way I did, but I digress. Uh, I just thought this would kind of overall be easier. And, you know, it worked. It, it looks good. I like it. I should let you know that a lot of these techniques I used in here, I used on my coffee model. Um, but since I didn't <laughs> since I didn't record that, I wanted to retry all the techniques here, uh, except it's a little bit more involved. I did have a little bit more knowledge, although surprisingly, I did have an issue at one point with something that I was able to do in the coffee model, but didn't work in this model. So I went back and I found a way to fix it, sort of. I don't know. I'll explain. Um, like, if you have an issue, this is what I did to fix it. And I'm sure there's other ways about it, but as it was something to do with, like, leaving Blender, and I don't know Blender well enough, I did my goddamn best. Also, do not ask me questions about Blender. I do not have the answer. Thank you. <laughs> um, and a lot of these techniques I have learned, um, some of them through trial and error. Some of them through other tutorials. Uh, some were friends who tried to explain it to me <laughs> multiple times. Um, but you know. So since uh, this is a two models in one, two characters in one, there's two different hairstyles. And uh, so we're both gonna, we're gonna have to make both the hairstyles um, on the character at the same time. But in order to do it, you do one at a time. So I do one and then you turn everything off and then you'll do the next one after. Um, I still was on the fence about the hair color. I was kind of thinking like a blonde, but then ultimately decided to go with a gray. Because he has like a white silver hair now. So I figured to kind of keep that. 
And even when I did the demon form, I still kind of kept it just more of a gray. Yeah. But he had seen the designs beforehand. Like, he, he knew what to expect, in a sense. So yeah, as you've seen, I turned all the angel hair off, and now I'm working on the demon hair. And then I'll turn a bolt on the same time. And this is like an idea I had for a while. And you can actually apply this to just a model with just the hair if you wanted two different hairstyles. You just have to make sure that each hairstyle was had its own like hair material. Uh, so that way you can turn them on and off in uh, Unity. Um, so, you know, if you want an updo, or if you want, like, your hair down, or if you want, like, um, a pompadour, like, I don't really need <laughs> You just do them all at the same time, and you just make sure they're each, even if they're the exact same looking texture, you just have to have it as a different material. Uh, and that way you can just turn that particular material on and off. Also, I ended up making a halo here in Vroid, and it would have worked just fine, except I was dumb and used the same texture for the halo as I did for a drool accessory that the character has that I'll put on later on. Pending had asked about having a, um, uh, a character that has, like, a hungry drool on the face, and so I figured, um, I would use hair. But I was kind of dumb, and I didn't give it its own texture. But I hadn't realized that until after I had already sent it through Unity, and then Blender, and then I was like... <laughs> I was almost done with this thing when I realized my mistake, and I was like, I am not redoing all that work. Now granted, this was like the bulk of it, trying to prepare and doing all the texture work. Um, but overall, the whole thing took somewhere between 15 to 20 hours. Um, yeah. Oh, here you guys are a little drool. So I didn't really want to have to redo that. Although granted, some of it I wouldn't have had to have redone, but, you know, it's still a lot of work. And I just, I found a workaround, which was make the drool and the halo in Blender, which I know enough Blender to be able to handle that, and that's the extent. Yeah. <laughs> Um, and so, so each of these characters have uh, their own wings, and I'm not sure why, but I put them on the same layer. I think I just kind of want them to line up. Um, also, wings are a pain in the ass to do. Feathered wings? Because the, flipping them doesn't always work. And this here is going to be the demon wings. And the wings that I use here um, are just placeholder wings. Um, I retexture them later on to kind of match. Uh, but I made these for another model um, that I have up on booth. But since I was going with the same design anyways, I figured it would be fine just to kind of use it as like a placeholder. It also really helps when you're boning these, like for the two different hairstyles, to turn one off and just do one at a time. And then once you're done, turn off the ones you've already done and then do the other one and then turn them all back on. Uh, and I needed that little uh, dangly bit in the middle to hold his halo up, but it was going to be transparent. Um, and over here it's just making uh, the textures for the clothes. Uh, the jacket is actually going to be overlaid on top of the demon jacket. Uh, so when I finally do it, like normally you would adjust it when you're in Blender so they don't overlap. But in my case they do overlap, but it's okay. Because uh, they were only going to be turned on one at a time. They weren't, they, we didn't need them at the same time, you know. All right, and this is just like kind of trying it on and seeing what I like and don't like. Like, I had had the general idea of what they were gonna look like the outfits, but you know, sometimes you just gotta mess around and figure out what what you what you're looking for.
Also, when I do texture work, I tend to have a movie on in the background. Um, so every once in a while, I'll just kind of stop and pay attention to the movie. So if you ever see me like halt for like a moment, that's probably what I'm doing is like looking at the movie that I'm watching or listening to. Um, and I don't think I did that too much here. And honestly, I think the shoes I did right here in uh, B-Roid just because of these particular loafers are pain in the ass. And I wanted both of them, uh, the demon form and the angel form, to use the same loafers. But I figured I'd make the demon forms just solid black so I didn't have to do much except change the color later on when they decide to switch outfits. And if you didn't know, I use um, the default textures to kind of help me place where wrinkles and stuff are supposed to go. I just don't do it as drastically as they do because my designs are more simple. Yeah. I decided that I was going to do um, like these type of pants for the demon form because I didn't want the same shorts for the demon form as I had for the angel form, which I initially did in uh, the design. Uh, so later on, I'm going to have to switch skin textures uh, in order for them to uh, change forms or else you would see these pants underneath the angel and I didn't want that. Um, uh, but I could have also just done a separate material and just imported that in. Um, but at this point, like, once I have it all done, I make sure the hairs turn on for both of them. And then I, uh, turn off the tail, the extra jacket, and the wings, and I'm just going to export this. Uh, my problem is I didn't export it with the without the stuff the hair combined like I, I exported it with them combined and it shouldn't have been which is why I wasn't able to like uh, fix the drool thing and I had to make my own but yeah so for this part one that's pretty much it it's mostly setting up your file in Vroid and how you know layering it for such <clears throat> uh, in the next part it's gonna mostly be setting up uh, to prepare to go into blender along with a little bit of unity work so, uh, if you like this, um, tutorial, if you want to see more of this tutorial, um, I don't know why it keeps making me look like I'm really tired. I swear to God, I am not. I just woke up. It's just my camera's kind of like being a little funky right now. I probably touched the lens or something. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, um, like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget, I stream over on Twitch. Uh, and if it's in June, then I'm back. And if it's not in June, I'll be back in June. But yeah, uh, thank you guys so much. And I will see you in part two, which should be uh, probably in a couple of days. All right, bye, you guys. <laughs>